Welcome to Sir Wolfie Gaming. Okay, a fire up Roundmaster. Okay. They have been doing several lots of work on my railway lately. I have done a few videos, but I've been very busy this month. But I will be uploading them over the next couple of weeks. As you can see, the layout is coming along nicely. I have made a little program which I can run on Roundmaster to show you off. Basically, I've got a new loco, which is my backman loco. I have now electrified, I'm say electrified, the points all down this edge here are now all electric, they're all operated. The ones on the other side over there will all have to be surface mounted because of how I've run one of the supports. I didn't realise that when I run the support along the edge I actually set it in too far and it interferes with them. But I'm going to surface mount them, they're going to be mainly hidden because I'm going to put a station on there so I'm not too worried. It should still look quite good. But my thing with getting it up and running, as you can see, I've started caulking it. That section there is caulked. It's pinned and caulked all down the left edge. So, this section here is all pinned and caulked. I've pinned all that lot now, I've just got to cut it all in. It's not pinned along that edge. The far edge here is not pinned yet. I still need to put some different adjustable feet on this board, which I have got. That's been a bit busy this month. Uh, I've just that's not pinned and part of this corner here is caught but I've still not finished pinning it, I've started I've finished it. Well what I've done is I've made a little program in Roundmaster. So if I click on start up on my Roundmaster, I have DCC'd, I've done a video on how these how I DCC this. Again I will upload that shortly, probably in the next week or so. I hope to catch up on the videos I've made. How I've wired up these points here already wired, but this points server down over here behind me where you can't actually see on the camera. They are also done. But there we go. I will show you the program. I press start. Basically, you'll hear the points click. Yeah, the lights automatically come on. If you can hopefully see, I'm not sure how well they're showing up on the video. I've done it so that train will start up first. That will go onto the outer track. Once he's on the outer track, it then point all the points click there and then set for this MoCo to go out. set them all to go at high speed. That one, the back of the loco isn't the quickest, but I don't want it to be so around cleaning the track, so it shouldn't go quick. Obviously, the express ship. I am having trouble. Let's slow these right down. I'm still having a few issues with this train going over points. It is cutting out. I've taken the chassis off and it runs fine. When it goes back on, it is catching the edge, which is knocking out the cable. So I'm going to redo that from scratch. I'll take that apart and have a look inside and smooth it all out. That is the problem with that one. On that, guys, I hope you see I've made a bit of achievements in getting over the head. To say, the points over this section here, let me show you. I have shown a video on how I set these up, which I will redo and show off soon. Which I've done as to how I DCC that and how I run my DCC and how I program it on, with my little test track I've got. The main aim was to get this up and running, so it looks good. That's how I started to pin. Hopefully, at the end of next month, my plan is to finish cutting it all in, all the cork in, and obviously the track pinned. Work more on the sidings because I'm going to have quite a few sidings coming up here. I'm hoping to add another couple more. I've got a few holidays planned so that I'm going to pay for them to be fair before I buy any more traps for the train. So that's my thing. So I'm going to tank test 
in June, July this year. So I've paid for my tickets for that and booked the hotels. So that's obviously keep me out for money for this month. The next month I'll be just adding a couple of points and probably extending the siding so they're finished and caulking them. i say the main part next, this coming month, well, February, is I say, is to trim it all in. Finish pinning it, trim it all in, then do them. I have got spare point motors for that. I've also got spare sockets underneath to connect it to that. And the same as that, I've got spare sockets. So I'm only using seven, nine points, and I've got three hubs underneath which can take 12, so I can add another three points quite happily. I've got the motors, I just need to get the points in, so which will be my next step. And then that side to electrify the points on the other side over there as well, get them electrified. And then that's made, but I still need to do a few more points there. Then I'm going to ballast. Which will probably be late in, probably more March, maybe into April. But anyway, this is just my January update. Just to give you an idea of how it's going along. You should hopefully see a lot of changes next month. You definitely should have seen it last month. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and take care.